Fisker made a big splash during its Product Vision Day 2023 event by revealing four new electric vehicles that will join the Ocean SUV in the next couple of years. Taking center stage during its live event was the Ronin flagship electric supercar with 600 miles of range. It would be a technology carrier for showcasing innovations. Additionally, Fisker also revealed the pure compact electric catchback for the masses, Alaska pickup truck, and an adventure pack for the ocean called the Force E. The brand also revealed its new supercomputer that will debut on the pier. Reservations are open for all the models. The most anticipated reveal was arguably the pier, which is an abbreviation for Personal Electric Automotive Revolution. CEO Henrik Fisker stated that the compact EV will start at $29,000 and be eligible for federal incentives which would drop the price to $22,400. The US-made EV will ride on the SLV1 platform, an abbreviation for simple, versatile, and volume. It's a Steel++ platform and uses 35% fewer parts. The dual-motor all-wheel drive EV will get a range of around 300 miles. But don't expect it to appear on American roads anytime soon. Fisker said the launch timeline is mid-2025. We can see several design highlights of the pier, including ultra-slim headlamps, an illuminated pier logo, radar sensors, and a fox grille up front reminiscent of the ocean. The version displayed also had cameras in place of wing mirrors. Cool design elements at the rear include a wraparound LED tail lamp and what the brand calls the Houdini trunk. Its opening mechanism is unlike anything we've seen previously. It rolls down and disappears into the rear bumper, which Fisker says could be immensely useful in getting items in and out easily when cars are parked closely on tight city streets. That said, Fisker will offer the pier in five and six seat configurations, with the latter getting a bench seat up front to sit three abreast. The brand plans to sell 1 million units of the Pier annually, but stopped short of mentioning the timeline for that target. The CEO said that the Pier is aimed towards digital natives who are looking for an affordable electric utility vehicle. Another exciting reveal is the Ronin, which the brand calls the world's first four-door convertible. The hand-built EV will flaunt a carbon fiber hardtop and availability will be limited. Its silhouette is somewhat of an ode to the Fisker Karma, the brand's first ever vehicle that launched in 2012 and was soon discontinued. The future Tesla Roadster rival appears striking with its low-slung stance, full-width front headlamps with an embedded illuminated Fisker brand logo, sculpted wheel arches, and scissor doors. To maximize aerodynamic efficiency, it will have active aero flaps as well. Moreover, it has four doors and is a five-seater. The electric luxury GD will have a cell-to-chassis battery, eliminating packs and modules, which would enable 600 miles of range. The all-wheel drive EV will feature a tri-motor setup and deliver an output of over 1,000 horsepower, with a zero to 60 miles per hour time of just two seconds. The Ronin is expected to launch in the US by the end of 2025. Fisker will enter the fast-growing electric pickup truck space with the Alaska. The electric truck market is currently occupied by the likes of the Ford F-150 Lightning, Rivian R1T, Hummer EV, and the Chevrolet Silverado. Fisker claims that the Alaska will be the world's most sustainable and lightest truck. It is built on the FT-31 platform, a modified and stretched ocean platform. It will slot somewhere between a compact and a mid-size pickup truck. At first glance, the electric truck appears to have the silhouette of a Hyundai Santa Cruz, its raked C-pillar slopes into the bed, and the design is an evolution of the Ocean SUV. The Alaska has a 4.5-foot bed, which extends to 7.5 feet, partly thanks to another Houdini trunk which in this application is a mid-gate that completely rolls down. With the roll-down mid-gate and an open trunk gate, the bed's length increases to 9.6 feet. 
customers will also be able to fold the rear seats flat and open up additional room. Fisker's focus on extracting maximum space with quirky tricks like the Houdini trunk is pretty remarkable. The expected driving range is between 230 to 340 miles, and it's likely to use the ocean's battery and power units. The SUV gets a maximum range of 440 miles on the WLTP cycle, thanks to 113 kilowatt hours of battery capacity. The CEO demonstrated how the truck's center console houses the world's largest cup holder, which appeared to house a one-gallon bottle. Another quirky feature is a cowboy hat holder above the rear seats. Alongside the usual suite of features like California mode that we've already seen on the ocean. The Fisker Alaska price will be $45,400 before incentives and will likely qualify for the federal tax credit that could drop its starting price to $37,900. The production version is expected to roll out in December 2024. The brand also unveiled an adventure-ready ocean called the Force E. It rolled on the stage draped in a matte black paint with chunky 33-inch off-road tires and 21-inch aluminum aero wheels, extra-wide fenders, and a massive roof rack. The Force E is an add-on package that even existing ocean customers and reservation holders can buy. Additionally, it packs the usual suite of off-road features that adventure junkies would expect, including higher ground clearance, a protective underbody plate, structural front and rear skid plates, along with special dampers and improved approach and departure angles. The package will be available in first quarter of 2024, and pricing will be revealed closer to that time frame. Interestingly, the Peer's brain will essentially be a supercomputer called Blade. The supercomputer looks like a tiny box, but appears to pack a lot of capability. It can deliver an insane computing speed of 6.2 teraflops. For reference, one teraflop can deliver one trillion floating point operations per second. It's upgradable and supports multiple functions like 5G, Wi-Fi, and multi-gigabit Ethernet. Fisker says it will be a mini data center on wheels. The Ocean's architecture uses eight primary domain controllers, while the Pier will use just two high-performance controllers, said the brand during the event. Another notable aspect is that the supercomputer will enable high-quality graphics renderings and artificial intelligence capabilities, which can predict failures before they occur. Fisker is still a new brand, and it still hasn't fulfilled production promises for the Ocean, its first BV. The brand missed production targets for both first quarter and second quarter of 2023, while its operational losses continue to mount. Its first quarter 2023 net losses equaled $120 million. With three new EVs on the horizon, it's likely an uphill task for the company to ramp up production and make the new products a reality. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video, and we hope you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more content like this, and don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified when we upload new videos. Leave a comment below with your thoughts and feedback. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next one.